And welcome back, everybody, to more Horizon here. You can fast travel between campfires you've discovered without using a fast travel pack. Okay. Melee pit. You look like you're itching for a fight, friend. We are on the same side here, Olund. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the carger who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gate. Into our own land. And there's Olven. Oh, hi! Don't do that. Interesting. Am I lost or am I exact? Can I not go in there? Oh, right here. Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. Ah, <sighs> not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Oh, of course. Olven's people. Are Olven's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. Uh, this place. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. About that food. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. My cup is empty. Fix it. Isn't Petra supposed to be here?
Don't mind me. Ocean Brewer or something that I can't talk to. Hmm, maybe you don't talk to Petra. Talk to Dipwad here. What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want oh, that's that whistle blown, all you there. have to do is okay. have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. <laughs> ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You and the Karja. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well... I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Work stoppage. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osorum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. Then just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Still here, I see. Who appointed you? If Chainscrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? 
Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. Bull. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Right. Founding of Chain Scrape. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. All right. I have other places to be. <laughs> By all means, don't let me stop you. <laughs> Man. What a jerk off. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Dame's Oderk. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. Gee, many My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. <laughs> you have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Melee pits test your close quarter fighting skills against other human components. Opponents. Complete all challenges against other fighters to ultimately face the pit master. The pit also allows you to practice your melee skills in a focused tutorial or an open-ended training session. So you have to have certain things open though. Energize your spear. Keep hitting your opponent with R1, yeah. R2. You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy four power attack to blast the armor off. You have somewhere better to be. So nice. So is my spirit I think my spirit's yeah. Yeah. That energy doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. 
You mean like that? Man, that takes forever. Okay, just try again. Okay, now it's energized, so now I can. He doesn't last forever. Shoot the glass part of your of opponent them. before the energy fades. Defeat your opponent with a resonator blast. Charge up, dang it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got Okay, just try again. What the crap, dude? I don't, I don't understand it. The guy doesn't have enough life to freaking withstand most of my hits. That's some dead good there, Red. He doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. See, it's charged. No, it wasn't. Energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. <sighs> oh, so you're timed on it. Okay. I mean, I could do the tutorials, but I don't really feel like it, so. Alrighty, who are we looking for? Ah, Savior. Over here. My eyebrows. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. 
Help me shut Olvind up. Concession decree. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> oh, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. Is that new? How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, Let's just say, no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And, with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Hey, Ray. Machine strikes, huh? Okay. Shall we go hunting? That was weird. I wish to have some of the sweat. Gather wild meats. Okay.
There's supposed to be stuff to shoot around here, or what? I hear lots of noises. There's a boar. Gather three bitter leaf. Poor raccoons. One more meat, and then we need um, bitter leaves. I think I can climb up this cliff. I wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. Maybe. That's medicinal. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. There it is. There. That should be enough wild meat for Nova. Okay. Where am I gonna get bitter leaf at? Hide. So apparently it's over here. Somewhere. I bet it's that weird bush there. Bitterly. Yep. Like bitter leaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. this for a cook. And what, do you get a pick or something you gotta get? Any more bitter leaf? One more, that's all I need. There it is. Okay, I think I have enough bitter leaf. Okay, 
Um, I hate to end it here, but I'm gonna have to because we're at 30 minutes, but... I'm gonna end it here. We'll continue in the next one as I wake, make my way over to this next area. <laughs> I missed. Big. Let's try out an acid arrow real quick. I've been made. guys if you like this video hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet thanks for watching everybody and as always i'll see you in the next one